In this video, we will see how to create a quick view in a WooCommerce shop with Breakdance and the Interactions extension from Elements Hive. First, let's create a global block that we can use in our post loop builder to render our dynamic product card and quick view container. In our global block, add a product builder element. From the default elements, we will delete all elements except for the product title and product price elements. Then we will add an image element and set its dynamic data to the product image. Next, we will reset the default spacing setting to suit our needs for this tutorial. Your designs can of course defer from this demo. We will add a width of 100% to the image and then switch to the shop page template. In our shop page template, we will add a post loop builder element. Assign it our global block. Give it a grid layout. And get rid of the default padding on the post wrapper. If we preview it on the front end, we can see our products list as expected. Let's go back to the global block and start working on our custom quick view function. It's always a good practice to label items in the structure panel when creating a composite element, so let's do that first. Let's add an icon element which will be used to open our quick view container. Assign our chosen icon. Give it a descriptive label in the structure panel. And change the styling of the icon as we need. Then we will give the icon a custom class. Edit the class in the selector panel and give it a position of absolute, a top of 1% and a right of 2%. This should position the icon in the top right corner of each card. Let's double check on the front end. Looks like the icons are not positioned correctly. We are using a position absolute and the individual card wrappers in the posts loop don't have a position relative set. So the icons get positioned relative to the section element instead. We can easily fix this by wrapping the elements in our global block in a container. This will fix our problem but a better option would be to simply assign position relative to our individual post wrapper elements in the post loop using CSS. If we look at the markup of our post loop builder element, we can see that each post is wrapped in an HTML article tag and is assigned a class. We can simply use this class in the custom CSS setting of our post loop element to assign it a position relative. Let's save the global block without the additional wrapper and see the shop page again on the front end. Now our icons are positioned correctly without any additional markup. We are missing the pointer cursor on hover since we don't have any links set on our icons. We will just add it via CSS instead. Now we can start working on our quick view container. Let's add another product builder element. This time we will keep the default structure. Replace the product images element with an image element and change the default styling of some elements. The design is up to you and your requirements, so we will speed this up. The second product builder element is effectively our quick view container, and so we will label it accordingly.
Let's add a class to our quick view container to define our default state. In the class, we will set a background. We want the quick view to always be centered on the viewport, so we will assign a position of fixed, a top of 50% and a left of 50%. Then we need to offset the position by adding a transform of translate with negative 50% on both the X and Y axis. Then add a width of 65%. The last thing we need in the default state is an opacity of zero and a transition to smooth out the reveal animation. Next, we will define a new selector for the visible state of our quick view container. In this selector, the only thing we need is to apply an opacity of one. We can test our animation by adding the new class to our quick view container in the builder. Let's set up our interaction now. On the icon, we will add a new interaction with a trigger of click, an action of remove attribute, attribute type of class, a value with our visible class, and a target of our quick view container class. This will make sure to close any existing quick view container that may be open. We then duplicate the interaction, change the action to set attribute, and update the target selector to use the special breakdance selector variable and the CSS sibling selector. This will allow each icon to only set the visible class on its sibling quick view container. In the structure panel, we made sure that the icon comes before the quick view container and that they are on the same level. Without this, the target sibling selector in our interaction will not work. We can now test our interaction on the front end. It doesn't seem to work. If we look at the markup, we can see that the quick view container exists and is hidden, but it covers the first three cards on the left and is blocking our mouse clicks. The icon on the last card to the right is not covered and should be clickable. If we test it, the corresponding quick view container becomes visible. We can see, however, that we have another problem where the cards below it are covering the quick view. Let's fix both problems at the same time by changing the z-index of our quick view container. In our default state class, we will set the z-index to minus 1. In our visible state class, we will set the z-index to some high value. In this case, we will use 1001 as the value. Now when we click the icon on a card, the corresponding quick view with additional dynamic data for that product is visible as expected. We still don't have a way to close an open quick view container, however. Let's add one now. We will temporarily add the visible class to our quick view container so that we can see what we are doing. We want to have a close icon inside of the quick view container in the top right corner. We will add the icon we want, give it a class, and then set the position accordingly inside that class selector. Now we can remove the visible class from the quick view container and test. We have our icon, but it's still not a functional one. Let's give it an interaction so that it fulfills its purpose. 
First, just as we did for the first icon, we will add pointer via CSS. Then we will add one interaction on the icon with a trigger of click, an action of remove attribute, and an attribute type of class. For the value, we will use the visible class, and for the target, we will use the quick view container class. And that's all we need to complete our custom quick view container using dynamic data. You can change the responsive styling as you need or create a different design altogether. In this video, we used a WooCommerce store, but you can of course use the same technique with any kind of dynamic data. And if you haven't done so, go watch our interactions walkthrough video to discover more ways you can implement interactions on your Breakdance website.